So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing BookSonic, which is an audiobook broadcasting uh, server. So basically, it, you put audiobooks on it, and then you can either play them on your network, or it even has an Android phone app, and we'll show you that too. And so as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and here we go now. Okay, so before we actually install BookSonic, let's take a quick look at it to see what it is. So basically, BookSonic is an audiobook player and streamer. And so here you can see we have three books lined up. Here's some Christmas tales, a coffee break. What we can do then is we can just play them, and which we would do here or down there to change them. And also, if we want to, we can actually play podcasts, and it will actually check for episodes of that, and we will do that right here. So where do we get uh, audiobooks? Well, there's something called LibriVox, which has free public domain uh, audiobooks, and you can just scroll down or search for different books, and then just download them uh, just like you would do anything else. The one other thing that we might need, depending on your uh, audiobooks and what you need, is you might need a zip unarchiver, and so 7-Zip is what I recommend. You can just go to the 7-Zip.org website and do that. The final thing is if you have an Android device, you can actually stream the audiobooks to your Android device by using this app. It's called BookSonic Audio Streamer. So let's go to Open Media Vault now and we'll install that. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go to Docker and then we're going to type in BookSonic here. And we're going to download the Linux server BookSonic. So we're going to click on that. Click Start. Once that's done, click Close. And so then we're going to click on BookSonic, click Info. And we're going to scroll down to the Usage section. And so these are the different things that we're going to look for. And so we're going to create a path to the config for our books, podcasts. We aren't going to do media. Put our PGID and our PUID. And we're not going to do context path and time zone. So let's go back to Open Media Vault. And we're going to click on Shell in the Box, Web Client. And we're going to log in as root. Then type in our password. And then what we're going to do is type in ID and our username. So my user is user1, so I typed in ID user1. Hit enter. And so, so we're going to write down the UID, which for us is 1000, and the GID, which is 100. Next, we're going to go back to Docker. Click on BookSonic and run image. So first, we're going to go to container name and call this BookSonic. Restart policy always, bridge mode, 4040. Scroll down to variables, type in PUID. And then, so this is our UID, which was 1000. Hit the plus, and then PGID, which for us was 100. Hit the plus, and next we're going to go down to container pass, hit slash. And first we're going to click on config. Then we're going to go to our Windows network and go to our server. This is my Acer servers server. We're going to go to app data and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call this BookSonic. And then we're going to go up and we're going to go to media and we're going to create a folder called audiobooks. Next, we're going to create a folder called Podcasts. And then we're going to just add in a few other folders for our other media as we add it. So we'll add in Books, Music, Movies, and TV. So when we add those later. Okay, so now we can go down there. So first what we're going to do is we have our config. We're going to go to host path, 
shared folders, app data, and then click on Book Sonic and OK. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to hit the slash, click Books, and go to our shared folders in our media. And so the books in this one is actually audiobooks. It's not regular books. So we're going to click on audiobooks. Hit the plus sign. Hit a slash again. Then click on podcasts. Go down to our shared folders. Media. And podcasts. And OK. Hit the plus sign. And then what we're going to do now is just click save. And that will load. So next what we're going to do is copy our IP address and paste that here. And then we're going to type in colon, uh, colon 4040. And we hit enter. And so now we're into Booksonic. And so our username is admin. And the password is also admin. And so we're going to hit don't show this again. And so then we're going to click on home. And so now we're into Book Sonic. And so the first thing we're going to do is go over to Settings. And so here you can see our books folder it goes down to our shared audiobooks folder. So we're going to stick some things in there and then we're going to scan those folders. So let's do that now. So here we have uh, a file where it's a Christmas stories. So we're just going to Carry that over to audiobooks. Once that's done, we're going to go back to over to our server. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on Scan Media Folders Now. And we're going to go to our index. And there you can see our Christmas folders are. So we're going to double click on that. And so there's our Christmas stories. And now we can press on any press play on any one of those and those Number will now play. Number 6 of a Christmas miscellany 2018. Uh, other things that we should uh, be aware of is over in our settings again. We can add in podcasts, uh, do transcoding. Uh, if we have a Sonos, we can connect that. DLNA, uh, if you want to connect to some other type of uh, device, you can enable that here. Uh, shared media is if we have any folders that are shared uh, network. This is automatically automatically route incoming connections through, through UPnP. Uh, players, again, if uh, we want to play through some different players there. And if we want to create different users, personal is just personalizing the different settings, limiting uploads and downloads. And then finally, the general tab is how things get converted and how it shows cover arts. So that's it for today. And so if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.